Hi, welcome to my first lecture on the Roy Lopez opening. Just some basic facts about the Roy Lopez opening. It is uh, also called the Spanish opening. And it's named uh, after a 16th century Spanish priest. And there's more than 30 named lines. Unfortunately, I won't be able to cover them all, just a fraction of them. And hopefully the most popular and the ones which form the basis of the other lines. So the opening moves in the Roy Lopez are e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6. And we've reached this position before. I cover in a different lecture of uh, how popular the, these moves actually are. And in my last lecture series, I actually covered the Italian game, which is where you move the bishop here. But in the Roy Lopez, we, the bishop comes to b5 to cover some material one more time. Basically, there are the opening moves for the Roy Lopez. In the Italian and the Roy Lopez openings account for 60% of all open games. An open game is just any game that opens with e4 e5 okay and uh, the Roy Lopez and the Italian game account for 80 percent of all games that sort of start with this position if I move back to bis the bishops so of this position so that's a high percentage and that's why I'm covering these two openings and I'm sort of covering them systematically because this is just the next logical opening so, like I said, the Roy Lopez, you move your bishop to b5. So what is the idea behind moving the bishop to b5? Well, here on the screen it, it shows what the idea is. The, the idea with, uh, with white moving its bishop to b5 is that it attacks the knight that defends the, the e-pawn. It um, develops the bishop. It helps uh, promote castling and indirectly attacks um, attacks the center. Remember, the three principles of the center are control this, or the opening are control the center, develop your pieces, and castle. So, just the review. So, what happens is that we're developing a piece, the bishop. We're aiding in kingside castling. So now white can actually castle. What happens is that also since this pawn is helping to control the center, or this black pawn, or this pawn for black is helping to control the center, and this piece here is defending it. We are attacking the piece which is defending the pawn. Okay, that's the idea with this move. And basically, black's third move. There's uh, two basic moves which occur with uh, with frequency. And here they are on the screen. There's um, a6 and knight f6. a6 is actually called Morphe's defense, and which we'll cover in more detail in future lectures. In this lecture, we're going to cover the Berlin defense, which is knight f6. So the two moves are a6 and knight f6. Okay, we're going to cover a6 in a future lecture, but so I want to cover this one, the Berlin defense. So what are the typical lines for white? How does how does the move now, or how does the game normally continue now? Well, it looks like white really needs to defend this pawn because it's now being attacked by the knight. But actually, white can just castle, and that's the most common move. Okay, you're saying, hey, that pawn looks like it's for free. My word, we can't let white uh, black win a pawn. And believe it or not, uh, this you, black can't really win this pawn. And I'll show you why. Is that the next logical move, and actually is the most common move for black, is to is to take the pawn. Okay, and now white basically has two um, two normal uh, continuations. And I can show you the less common one, but maybe the one you're probably asking in your mind: If we just lost a pawn, how do we regain it quickly? Well. Here's here's how you would normally gain is you would actually move your rook to to e1. Now, if you look at it, white is actually now attacking this pawn twice, and it's also attacking this knight. 
So it's gonna White's gonna b winning the pawn back. So White just moved the rook over, and now the knight has to move. So the knight will move to uh, to d6, effectively now attacking the bishop. Thinking, oh gosh, you know, White, I can't still, no, I still can't win that pawn back, but that's not true. Uh, believe it or not, White will just take the pawn. And what's going to happen is that uh, Black actually doesn't have time to take this bishop. And I'll show you why. And I'll show you, if you don't know, the most common continuation is this: is Bishop e7. Why? You're saying, well, hold on, I'm just going to lose this bishop here. So what happens if Black decides to take this this um, this um, this uh, bishop right here? Well. White has this nice move right here of taking taking this knight. It's actually a discovered attack. See now white gives check and it attacks the queen. Nasty stuff. Okay, so you're gonna end up losing your queen if you do that move. So let's back up and continue the other main line. So where we moved so so black took, and then instead of playing a rook over, um, white's actually going to play a d4. Seems a little strange, but actually we're uh, white's freeing his black bishop and attacking this pawn. And you might be saying, well, why doesn't black just take the pawn? But if you look at it, white would just then move its rook over and then basically be attacking the king and the the knight would be pinned. It couldn't move because and it's going to be very vulnerable to attack. So it doesn't do that. Well, once again, black is just going to move the uh, knight back to where it attacks the, the bishop. And now We'll just exchange off the bishop because it's under attack. And also, if you think about it, this you know everything is sort of lining up on this pawn, and this knight is sort of also helping to defend this pawn. So the bishop is going to take this knight because it's under attack, and it's going to take out a piece which is helping to you know to defend something. Black will take back with this pawn. And then uh, white will just recapture. And now the knight has to move or will be captured. And then we'll trade off queens. And that's sort of the most common line for the Berlin defense. Okay, believe it or not, I have, actually have about two minutes left. And what I want to do is back up and show you an opening that I saw actually on YouTube um, in the Berlin defense, which is called the fishing pole which intrigued me a lot. I just want to show it to you real quick and I recommend you watch the video called The Fishing Pole on YouTube. So the fishing pole actually starts whoops, with, uh, with the knight going to g4 instead of taking on e4. But remember after uh, knight f6 white normally castles and then black plays the sort of the entry move the, to the fishing pole. I'd say the move that messes up most new players is most new players say, hey, I'm going to get rid of that knight and I'm going to play um, basically h3. And then here's the little trick. Is black's going to play h5. It looks like you're just leaving your knight out there to uh, for it to be taken. And I'm going to cover this a little bit uh, quickly. So what happens is that whatever Whatever happens, White should not take this uh, this knight. It's just sort of a poison knight, meaning uh, it's just going to cause you headaches. Because here's what happens if you decide to take the knight. Okay, Black takes back, and then here's the nasty thing: is that the queen now is going to come to here and deliver checkmate here. That's the problem: is that when you so if we back up, that's what's happening: is that that's why white moved its pawn up so that on the recapture it's going to open up this file right here that's what happens because now let's say white just plays logically and says oh I'm gonna move my knight 
back to double, you know, have a double attack on the pawn. Knight and queen. Well, actually now the queen just comes here. And then uh, white says, oh gosh, I'm going to get checkmated right here. So says, I'm going to throw up and maybe try to escape. You know, I'll let the knight go. I'll just, you know, still be, I already took a knight, so I'll get a knight back. But the black has this beautiful move, g3, which blocks off the king's escape and its checkmate. And there's another line in the uh, the fishing pole.